Model Context Protocol or MCP has become so popular that now even AWS has its own MCP which allows you to manage their cloud infrastructure and bit more. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install AWS Cloud Control API MCP server. I will be explaining it all of it in very simple words with a hands-on tutorial we will be installing all of the components associated with it because it's an aws service so expect a lot of things to be installed and then we will knit all of this together also if you're looking to understand more about mcp just go to my channel and search with mcp tutorial and i have done a very easy to understand video where you can even install and create your own MCP server. Getting back to this AWS Cloud Control API MCP server, it is sort of a new bridge that lets you talk to AWS in plain English instead of CloudFormation GML, which is their infrastructure as code language. It plugs into the open source MCP ecosystem, which is a lightweight standard that lets large language model agents, IDEs and other tooling exchange structured context with external systems. Under the hood, the server forwards every natural language request, spin, such as you would say spin up an EC2 instance or a VPC with two public subnets and a NAT gateway. So the MCP server will take that natural language prompt and then it will send it to AWS Cloud Control API, which is yet another component. It is a single HTTP endpoint that can cradle or cradle is C-R-U-D-L. Cradle means create, read, update, delete, list. And with the help of this AWS Cloud Control API, you can cradle more than 1200 AWS and third party resources because many people get confused around when we have AWS CLI or Boto3 and lot of other tooling, why do we need Cloud Control API to create, read, update, and delete all of these resources? The difference is that it also deals with third-party resources. You don't have to uh, mix and match different tooling. You can just use one tool to not only manage AWS resources, but also whatever third-party resources you have created. And there are a lot of information on their page which you can access to see which third-party resources. Also, before it executes anything, it optionally prices the bill with the AWS Pricing API, auto-correct security posture with another uh, open source tool check off, and can spit out ready to commit, in commit infrastructure as code templates so that your CI-CD pipeline stays in the loop and you can use any CI-CD pipeline there. The result is a conversational cloud provisioning, you speak, AWS resources appear, and the guardrails are baked in. So that is what it is. Now, the tool which I'm going to uh, host this MCP server is Amazon Q. This is another component by AWS. You can use cursor, you can use any other MCP compliant tooling to install and use this MCP server by AWS, but I'm just going to go with Amazon Q, which is an LLM sidekick or companion or assistant that actually holds this conversation. Whether you chat in the IDE or CLI or AWS console or in your Python script, Amazon Q turns your sentence into the exact MCP request or the CC API or Cloud Control API server expects then streams back a summary cost estimate and links to the generated templates. Because Q is itself hosted on Amazon Bedrock, which, another, which is another service in AWS, but don't worry about it, you don't have to configure it for this video. And Amazon Q also continuously is trained on fresh AWS docs. It understands context like use the same security group as last time or pick the cheapest Graviton instance that still fits my workload. So just to recap together this whole trio, Q as natural language brain, this MCP as the wire protocol, and the cloud control API um, MCP would be the AWS native executor. It 
all these three let any developer even on day one spin up secure and budget infrastructure without leaving the chat window now this looks really really good um, of course there is room for improvement you have to be very careful about security posture here and i will show you why plus you have to uh, maybe double check around pricing and stuff and be careful the good thing is that not only you can configure this mcp server as cradle but just also as a read only so that you would see what it is going to create anyway enough talk let's get it installed and we will see how it works i am going to use this ubuntu server and if you are looking to rent a vm gpu or cpu on very affordable price you can find the link to mast compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus okay so that's said and done let's clear the screen so i'm not going to um you know spend way too much time on amazon q configuration but if this is the first time you are using amazon q all you need to do is to go to your aws account if you don't have it um, just sign up with aws i think they give you some free credits which you can obtain and then you can use this so first time go to aws.com or aws or maybe something like that amazon.com um, in aws cloud create your account with your email you might have to put in your credit card information that is how these hyperscaler public clouds work but it won't charge you anything first time um, but of course do your own due diligence around costing once you have your aws account just go to amazon q service and then just subscribe with your email that's it click on subscribe that is all you need to do so i'm hoping that you already have done that sort of stuff now once you have done it just come back here First thing, we are going to install Amazon Q. Just run this command. It is going to download the Debian package of Amazon Q. It's quite lightweight. And that is done. Now, one thing I would highly suggest um, that if you have any AWS credential, make sure that you set them like access key ID or secret access key and region in environment variables. Plus, if you don't want to set it in there, just configure a CLI, put them in your AWS profile, or you could even um, create a named profile. All of these things are out of scope of this video, but if you want to learn more about it, just go to my channel, search with AWS profile or a bedrock and watch that, or just watch any other video around AWS cloud as how to create it. It's fairly simple, but bit cryptic too. Okay, so let me clear the screen, set my credentials from my personal account as environment variables and once you have done that you need to install that debian package by this command this is going to unpack it and that is okay so it says error encountered while processing so normally what happens is when you install this amazon q on ubuntu or maybe some other Linux uh, flavors, it also needs a WebKit GTK library, which doesn't come with it. So you have to install it. For that, all you need to do is to run this command. I'm just going to paste it. And this is that is going to install it for you. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce. And that is all done. Let me clear the screen. Next up, let's uh, finish our installation, which we were doing earlier. And that is all done. And now you can simply launch your Amazon Q by typing Q here. And then it is going to ask you for the start URL, which you can obtain your AWS account from Amazon Q's uh, settings. or uh, I think it will be in the settings or dashboard. Now, first time when you run this Q login, it asks you whether you want to use free with builder ID or pro license. If you don't know how to get AWS builder ID, just go to my channel, search with AWS builder, and then it is going to tell you how to get the builder ID. It is a bit of a, a hairy and curly process. So make sure that you watch this video and then simply use it for free. So I'm just going to put in my ID and then uh, move to the next step. And then you will see this screen where it will confirm that Amazon Q for CLI have been given requested permission. And once you are back in your terminal, just type Q and then you will see Amazon Q here. 
and you can see it is behind the scene using amazon bedrock service to access cloud sonnet 4 model from anthropic um, that might be the default model with bedrock but you can change it i believe in the bedrock just to use any other model but we are not going to worry about it for now i'm not going to play around with amazon q here maybe we'll do that in another video but for now let me show you how you can configure that mcp server so in order to configure this MCP server with Amazon Q, just go to this .aws directory in your home, then Amazon Q, this is a full path. Here simply create a new file called as mcp.json, open it in any editor of your choice. I'm just going to open it in VS Code. At the start it will be empty, just paste all of this stuff here. So this is how we configure MCP server, this is a de facto standard now. If you have used cursor or any other coding assistant you might have noticed the same sort of stuff so all we are doing here we are specifying all of our mcp servers for this case we just want to go with this one you can have as many as you like i'm sure this list is going to grow the package manager will be uv so make sure that uv is installed i believe i already have uv installed there this is my uv if not make sure that you have it installed it's one liner if you don't know how to do it just search my channel so the uv is installed this is the aws mcp server we are referring to which is primarily in this format now this is where you can either specify your aws profile if you have configured it normally it is default for the starters but we can also rename it you can specify your keys here or you could simply grab it from your environment and these are some of the metadata you can just keep it as is or remove it it is optional this is this bit is interesting if you want to auto approve any resource creation deletion or cradle operation uh, just simply make it true i won't recommend that by the way anyway so this is also you see that if you have putting in your keys here and stuff uh, this could be improved i guess by aws anyway so let me fill in my information uh, which i won't be i will be removing this aws profile that's it because i already have set everything in my environment again which is not a good idea make sure that you have some role based access and implement it in your profile and aws credentials in your um, aws cli directory wherever that is okay so let me do that and go back to my terminal And there you go so as soon as i have typed q or q chat in my terminal it has loaded that mcp server and then it is telling me that if i want to just simply uh, select any other model i can do with this slash model but anyway that is how simple it is your mcp server is loaded and everything looks good if uh, there is any error or stuff it will not give you this green tick here and now you can just create or delete resources so first up, I'm going to maybe ask it, do you see any EC2 instances in my account? If yes, what's the name and status of that instance? Let's run this. It is going to do the tool call from the MCP server. There you go. So this is a tool which has been exposed by my CC API MCP server. It is telling me this is the tool call it is going to do which is basically a function call on the basis of function signature and then you can allow this action t to trust always allow this tool for this session but i'm not going to press t i'm just going to press y you can also press n to decline it so let me press y here and now it is asking me um, if it is able to you know get my session information i'll just now press y again and there you go it has told me that in my account in this region it has just checked us east one i think that is a north virginia region but you can also specify any other region all in natural language prompt and as i said you can just create update delete list or whatever quite easily with the help of this operation so now you know how to you know play around with this mcp server from aws and how to install it um, let me know what do you <clears throat> think about this new mcp server please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support